When my daughter was diagnosed hearing impaired 23 years ago, I was a single mom. She was 17 months old and all of a sudden I'm faced with the challenge of your daughter is hearing impaired, severely profound hearing impaired. She is going to grow up, you know, with a new language, with a language that you have never been introduced to. And so it was terrifying. Um, it was frustrating because I was already 17 months behind the eight ball on teaching my child how to communicate. The only teaching tool I had was a dictionary that has 350 pages of thousands of signs and a 17 month old with a three second attention span. Originally when I created this curriculum, I didn't want any other families to have the fear the frustration that I had teaching my own child to communicate. We literally cut a dictionary apart when I had to teach my child sign language. We cut a dictionary apart and I posted pictures on every window, lamp, couch, book, anything that I had a picture of or a sign of, we walked around the house so that I could easily communicate with her. And um, the problem was, was I could communicate with her and my daughter could communicate with her, but the outside world could not. And I knew that through the progression of trying to teach children, families, mothers, grandmothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, this curriculum that it had to be easy and it had to be fun and it had to be something that my child would sit and want to learn from. Sign language develops an area of the brain that most children, zero to five, never tap into. Young children are kind of flighty. They, they move, they learn, they experience, they touch, they go. So when they're doing sign language, they're moving, they're engaging, they're using their social, their visual skills, they're using their gross motor, their fine motor, they're using just all of this cognitive developmental skills that really go underdeveloped in 90% of hearing children. Why? because they don't need to use the visual skills. And so therefore, their physical skills go crazy because they just wanna move. And it's very hard to teach. So this way you're teaching them the cognitive, visual, and developing an area of their brain that literally lasts them a lifetime. The, the, the skills that these children are developing in this program from zero to five, don't end at five. They don't end when they go to kindergarten and their sign language may the sign language may cease at that point, but the skills and the brain development that they have achieved last forever. This curriculum benefits children with ADD, ADHD, learning delays. We have so many families that are struggling with how to communicate with their autistic child. 